All right, so there was a typo in the notes last time. Uh, last time when I had defined the Lagrangian strain, I had accidentally written that these derivatives uh, of displacement are with respect to small x. That was just a typo. Somebody pointed that out to me. And I correct that in the notes that I posted online. And you can see they're corrected here. So with respect to the Lagrangian strain, um, or the green strain, these, these derivatives are with respect to the reference configuration. So that's big X, OK? And so then when you compare the two, if you compare the Lagrangian strain uh, and the Eulerian strain, the first terms look similar, but one of them's with respect to big X, one of them's with respect to little x, okay? And it, but I said in the small strain limit, that's this guy over here, that they're equivalent to one another, and that comes from the fact that you know in the in the small strain limit, you know if you remember we have the equation little x is equal to big X plus u. Well, if the displacements are small enough, right? then little x and big X are approximately the same, right? They're approximately equal to one another. And that's how we get this, you know, how both equations reduce to the small strain equation um, in, the, in the limit. So understand that when we talk about small strain or, you know, linear strain, that's this guy over here, the Cauchy strain, and basically every book on geomechanics, that's all you're going to see. That's how strain is going to be defined. But and we're going to show, basically, in the rest of this class why it's important to make that distinction um, and, and really discover uh, or expose the assumptions that you're making when you do that. And most of the time in the geomechanics setting, uh, it's okay to do. But I, I just want you to be fully aware of what you're doing when you call this the strain, okay, this small strain the strain, okay?